Right guys, I'm <clears throat> in the Viper here and uh, gonna have some custom exhaust built uh, for this thing. So uh, Pop and I are gonna take the old exhaust off and bring it to the muffler shop and have them build us some new stuff. So curious how that goes, trying to make it sound a little bit louder here. Um, and we're also gonna be ceramic coating it. So uh, that may be two separate videos. So uh, if it is, it'll be popping up in the corner here. Um, but it uh, should be pretty cool, so let's get going. This is literally the worst day to be driving on. I guess it stopped raining, so it's not as bad, but it's going to get pretty nasty. Of course, i got to wash it before we ceramic coat it anyways. So, but anyways. All right, so got the Viper over here. <clears throat> I'm going to get it washed and then uh, we're going to get it over to the shop and uh, start working on the exhaust. Get all that pulled off and sent to the muffler shop. And uh, then we're going to get this thing ceramic coated. So the first thing we got to do is get it cleaned up before get it over there. And it's not that bad, but uh, it's a little nastier now. It's a pretty nasty day, but uh, first thing to do is get this window back on, get her cleaned up. All right, guys, the car is washed. Looks pretty good. And you wanna make sure you wash it with some Dawn soap or Chemical Guys has some stuff called Clean Slate. You can do a couple different things. You just wanna make sure you get off all the wax and grease off the car and uh, make sure it's a nice solid surface. You wanna buff that, uh, which is what we're gonna do with this. Hit it with a little bit, even though it's pretty shiny. Um, try to buff a little bit of it and then you want a ceramic coat on top of that. So uh, we're gonna try to do that. And um, you can see the Corvette that we did, uh, worked on it. Uh, we didn't polish it, the paint was really good on it. And we just ceramic coated it and we went through the full wash and all that stuff. If you wanna see that, it'll be in this uh, top right corner over here. <laughs> so uh, just click that. So let's get over to the shop. All right, so the car is all Nice and dried up and in the shop. And that's the first time I've actually washed it. So Pop and I got it washed and nice and cleaned up. It looks pretty good. We're gonna try to buff on it a little bit and try to do that before we ceramic coat it. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get these exhausts pulled off. All right guys, first thing we're gonna start out with, pulling off these side covers here. And you've got some little plastic caps down in here, pull those out. And then there's some small little bolts, little screws anyways, up under the bottom and across the top. Pull all those out and then we'll be able to pop these off. Okay, all of the screws are out there. This is essentially what they look like. That's the little plastic caps. And uh, went ahead and put a blanket down. Now we're just gonna pull out and slide it off this way and uh, hopefully not drop it, but that's one of the blankets there. So get these out of the way and get the other one. All right, so there's the original catalytic converter, original muffler tip. So we'll save all that. My plan is to unbolt this from the manifold, unbolt it here, pull this thing all the way off, take these to the muffler shop, let him build me some custom ones and then just saving these originals just because this car is a early 93 car and i really don't want to change anything on it but i do want some better sound so i at least have the originals can be bolted right back up so the other side now we just gotta pull these screws out pull it off and then this is the one there sitting up there so all right guys so this side is off now now the next thing to do is we're gonna get it on the lift, but 
take off these bolts and the rear bolts and then the header bolts that are up in there. See how bad that's gonna be. All right, guys, look at this. You see how hot this cat has gotten? It is ate up that aluminum sheeting and that's fiberglass in there. Like you can see the fiberglass falling out. These cats, that's like the fatal flaw on these cars is these cats get so hot that the exhaust will literally burn you, but it'll also melt the paint and it'll start bubbling on these things. So th these things are huge issues. These older cats are just way too hot and they need to be changed on every one of these cars. Um, so these definitely be gone. And to be honest with you, uh, Pop and I were talking and we really think that this exhaust probably just needs to go away. I don't know that it's even worth saving. You can see where it's it's blown out right here. So that's saving these old exhausts. I don't know. I mean, I'll hang on to them, but saving the whole thing together is gonna cause more issues. So now what I think I'm gonna do is have the muffler shop cut them here, save my brackets there, save the header flange there, and then cut it here and save the tip and this and this uh, bracket. So none of that has to be custom made. And then just let them redo all of this in the middle with new piping and uh, new mufflers and everything. And I've got some Dynamax race mufflers that are gonna go on here. So this thing should be pretty noisy. <laughs> but hopefully I think it'll sound pretty good. So we're gonna pull these down and then fire it up open header and see what it sounds like. I think it'll be pretty sweet. Are you? Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, there's the pipes. And you can see that one did bulge a pretty good bit. So get the center section cut out, new stuff put in there, get them hooked back up. But for right now, it's completely open. We're gonna fire it up, be pretty sweet. That's awesome.